I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you on speeding and slowing of an object moving along a straight path, a linear path. The question here is, how to get information about speeding and slowing down from velocity and acceleration time graphs? So we have two graphs here. The first one is velocity time graph. The second one is acceleration time graph. Both are for one particular object moving along a linear path right okay so now what you have to figure out is intervals where the object is speeding and the intervals where the object is slowing down so this is what you need to figure you can always pause the video answer the question and look into my suggestions okay the rule for speeding and slowing is very simple. Object speeds when product of velocity and acceleration is greater than zero. That means they have same sign. They are slowing down when the product of acceleration and velocity, I said the reverse, acceleration A, velocity V is less than zero. That means they have opposite signs. That is so simple, right? So basically, you have to see, compare the portions of the graph. So if you see the interval 0 to 2, velocity is positive, correct? In this interval, velocity is above the graph, it is positive. However, acceleration is negative, And therefore, in this interval 0 to 2, the object is opposite sign. So we can write slowing down from 0 to 2, right? So that comes under slowing down. Now, if you consider 2 to 4, object velocity is negative and acceleration is also negative. They have the same signs and therefore it is speeding from 2 to 4, right? So let's say intervals like this. Let me write like this. I'm using my own nomenclature. Now, between 4 to 6, velocity is negative but acceleration is positive opposite signs so that means it is slowing down so again four to six slowing down right and then beyond six what do you notice both are positive so they are speeding right so so beyond six uh, i should say in this case let me put infinity it is speeding so that is how you could easily get your solution correct so what we consider here is opposite signs that means slow we have same sign speed opposite signs slow same signs speed right so that could be a very fast way of figuring out from the graph of velocity and acceleration in which portion is the object speeding and in which portion the object is slowing down. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Feel free to post questions and if you like, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.